when you're adding and subtracting fractions, you must have the same denominator. Okay, so the denominators must be the same. If they're not the same, you have to make them the same. You have to find a common denominator. Oh, when okay? you did that thing. Remember we this? Born. This is um, B. What are my what's my denominator for the first one? Um two. Good. And my denominator for the second fraction? It's three. Okay, so I have to find the same denominator. So I need to figure out what I can multiply this by and what I can multiply this number by to get the same answer. So we have to think of multiples of two and multiples of three. So, so when you're doing so two, two four, six, eight, eight ten, nine, okay, I'll stop there. Nine, and multiples of three are three, three six, six nine, nine twelve. twelve. Okay, and then two, four, six, eight, ten. Sorry, I ran out of room, so I stopped. Twelve. Yeah, so right? we could use six. Because yeah, we can use six, six exactly. Because you the reason I put that twelve there is because it has it doesn't have to be, but it yeah. it's it's, it it's quicker. It's yeah, it's there. quicker if you do could the I lowest. Have done it with twelve and twelve, if I wanted to. You but could, then but then you have to have um, more steps after. You have to reduce. You always have to put the fraction in the lowest terms. Oh, okay. So it's easier if you find the lowest common denominator. Yeah. Okay. So two times one, two, three. Is six, right? Oh, so if you use, oh, I'm there putting six or both. No, because you want your answer to be six. Maybe I should do okay? And then three times two oh. is six. Remember oh, okay. this? Oh, you want it to be six. If I multiply the denominator by three, so right? you, yep. Two times three and three. Exactly. Three. It's a confusing. But if I multiply the denominator by three, whatever you do to the denominator, you have to do to the numerator. Yeah. So for this fraction, because I did 2 times 3, well, I have to multiply the numerator Top by 3. By three right? So okay. 1 times 3 is 3. Okay? Three with and then, and then I have, have, have to do times 2, right? Right, exactly. So, right. But you have to watch the sign here. It's actually a negative two, 2 times oh. 2. A so negative and a positive, positive is a negative. So it's going to be negative 4. Good. Okay? okay? So I could put this number in brackets. Just so you remember that it's 3 over 6 take away negative 4 over 6. Yeah. But when you're adding and subtracting fractions, I'm just going to flip to the next page. So we had 3 over 6 take away, oops, sorry, negative 4 over 6. When you're adding or subtracting, in this case we're subtracting, you don't add or subtract the denominators, okay? We add and subtract only the numerators. So I'm actually just doing 3 take away negative 4, and whatever I get, it's going to be over 6. The denominator stays oh, as so I is. Have to answer to this. What's the answer to 3 take away negative 4? Oh, so I'd get... So you'd so get seven, 7 over 6? Over 6. So your answer is 7 over 6. Oh, okay. So but oh, this but is an improper oh, fraction. Oh, oh, yeah, it is. Right? Because exactly. the numerator is larger than the denominator. So we have to actually make turn this into a mixed number, which is going to help us with the next question. We have to so we have to look, well, that this line also means divided by. Yeah. So it's actually 7 divided by 6. How many times does... That's how you do next. I'm not going to Well, because you're going to get a decimal. But oh. because we're dealing with fractions, we want our answer to be a fraction. Yeah. So how many times does 6 go into 7 evenly? Mm. Once. It only goes in once, right? How many do you have left over? Uh... You to get to seven, you'd one. have yeah, you'd have one left over, so you'd have one out of the six left over. Uh, so put one under I know. <laughs> so much in. If you look at the first number, it's negative, and then you have eight and a quarter. Okay, uh -huh. we're gonna rewrite it as um, an improper fraction. Okay, but I know that the answer is gonna be a negative, right? Because it's a negative number. It's a negative. Yeah. Don't forget there's a negative there. Oh. Okay. Now to turn, let's just deal with this. I'm going to write it over here. Eight and one quarter. Okay. So we know it's a negative. So let's just leave the negative right now. Yeah. We know it's a negative. Yeah. yeah. But I need to turn this into a, an improper fraction. So I don't know if you remember this. We multiply eight times four. So we're going to multiply these together. And whatever you get, you're going to add the numerator. Do you kind of remember this? 8 times 4 is 32. Then whatever you get, you always have to add your numerator. So the numerator is 1, so I'm going to add it. I'm going to get 33. And then whatever the denominator was here, it stays as the same. And my answer is 33. 
So this is 33 over 4. Oh, okay. Because okay, we have um, negative 33 over 4. Take away negative 1 over negative 3. Well, is there another way you can rewrite this? When you have two negatives together, because mm -hmm. this means division, right? Yeah. When you have two negatives, what does it become? Positive. Right. So I can actually just get rid of this and keep it as... I know that when I have two negatives together, the answer is positive. So negative 1 over negative 3 is the same as positive 1 over th positive 3. Because oh. two negatives together equal a positive. So I could get rid of the negatives. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. Because we're subtracting fractions, we have to find a common denominator. Right? Right now the denominators are different. So we have to figure out, well, let's look. We have a 4. And we have a 3. We have to find out the lowest common denominator. So again, you can list the multiples of 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, just counting by 4s. Oh, because we're going to try and make yeah, these, like, the same, the same denom denominator. Okay, so... Okay. And then we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. I'm just counting by 4s and then I counted by 3s. The denominator is 12. And, well, how do we get there? How many times did I have to write 4? So for this one, you have to write 1, one two, 2, 3. Which means I'm going to multiply, look here for a sec, this by 3, right? So I do this. Yeah, and if I multiply the denominator by 3, I have to multiply the numerator by 3, just so you don't forget. Okay? And, and then for, for this, this one, 1, 2, two three, 3, 4. Good. So we have to multiply this by 4. What do you have to do to the numerator? So then you do it by 4 as Good. well. So four, 3 times 4. And mm -hmm. 1 times 4. Okay, now we can solve that. Let me, let me move this. We know, so I'm just writing my two fractions. I know the denominator is 12 for both of them. Okay, now we have to figure out what's the numerator. So you have negative, don't forget it's negative. Oh yeah, negative 33. 33 times 3. Negative 99. And then we have 1 times 4. Right? Um, four. four. Good. We know that we just have to now figure out, we have to simplify, we have to solve this. Negative 99, take away 4, and we know that the answer is going to be out of 12 because the denominators are the same now. So what's negative 99, take away 4? So negative 103. Negative. Because 12 goes into 103 8 times. We heard that 12. Yeah, so 12 times 8. It's 96, Into right? 103, 8 times? Yeah. So 12 times 8 equals 96. So if, if I put 12 into 103 eight. only 8 times, I only get up to 96. So I need to add 7 more mm -hmm. to get to 103. Made with DoodleCast Pro.